Hey everyone, this is Arlen Sheary and welcome to episode 213 of the Daily 3-Minute Mantra Podcast, where we come back to the present moment for just three minutes, sing a Sanskrit mantra, connect with our voice and our body, and learn some new stuff sometimes. And today actually should be Friday, and I'm not recording this on Friday, but uh, my I have a new mantra collection for peace coming out today. It's available on Spotify and the other streaming platforms. It's Om Shanti. And then it has the Sarva Sham peace mantra that we've done before in this podcast. So if you want to go check it out, look me up on Spotify or Apple Music um, and listen to that. It's 30 minutes long. It has birds and I think it feels very peaceful and I really like it. But back to our mantra today. Today is part four, and we're putting it all together, the three parts that we've been learning for the Sarva Mangala Mantra. It's a mantra about the divine feminine, wealth, protection. It's a Durga mantra, but it includes some of the other goddesses like Gauri and I believe Lakshmi with the Narayani. And I was mentioning yesterday that I don't really focus too much on all the different gods and goddesses and what exactly the words mean. I kind of get a general idea, but I realized that's because um, for a lot of people, mantra is their spiritual practice, you know, their way of discovering spiritual truths, I believe, because um, what I've read is that the mantras are, when you repeat them over and over, they're supposed to kind of... um, impart the spiritual wisdom because they are an ancient language and everything so they carry the energy in the word but I that's not how I use them because my spiritual path my teacher is Leanna Shanti I'm learning how to unconditionally love myself so that is my path I don't use the mantras um, to help me understand spiritual wisdom or anything. Sometimes they do, but it, it's not necessarily the mantra. It's from me connecting with my body and it helps me integrate something I've learned from Leanna or to understand on a different level. So all my spiritual stuff, understanding that I have at the moment, I've learned from Leanna um, and integrated that way. So it's not coming from the mantras. So um, because I was just thinking about the word triambake means three-eyed one. I think there's three prongs for different things like that. Um, so, you know, I was thinking that's probably some spiritual wisdom that <laughs> that's important for people to know, but that's not where I get my spiritual wisdom from. So mantra, like I keep saying, for me is just a tool. Um, that's not the case for everyone, but it is for me to help me be present with my body and to really help me create feeling states and just um, help with my mind and things like that. So hopefully that maybe clarifies or just, I don't know, helps you out in some way. You can do whatever you'd like with mantra and use it however you want. It's a very flexible practice. So we're going to sing the whole mantra. I'll try and go a little slow and we're going to sing it for about three minutes. It'll probably be four times through or maybe just three because it's long. So here we go. Sarva Mangala Mangalie Shive Savarta Sadinke Mm-hmm. 
Thank you for joining me and I will sing with you tomorrow.